Hey guys, how's it going? Now, regardless of how many features and productivity enhancements that Microsoft keeps on adding to the Windows experience, we all know that we love installing new apps every day to well enhance the overall experience and productivity of our system. And well, if you're one of those, this video is for you. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about 10 of the best apps that you can install on your Windows PC. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is protect our online activity. Now, we all live in a connected world, right? And it's important to secure our online identity. The best way to do that, get a good VPN. My choice, Proton VPN. We've already done a thorough video talking about why Proton VPN is one of the most secure VPNs out there. But just to give you a brief, it's because all of the great features that it packs in, such as NetShield, SecureCo, and much more. Proton VPN is one of the rare free VPNs that give you unlimited data and bandwidth. It also does not log your browsing activity and ensures that no government can snoop into your data. It uses 256-bit encryption to safeguard your data from hackers while also offering OpenVPN and IKEA V2 protocols. The servers in the free plan are limited to the US, Japan and the Netherlands but for the security features that you get, I still think that this is one of the best free VPNs to choose from. Other than that, Proton also offers Proton Mail to further protect your online activity. It offers end-to-end -end encryption and lots of other great security features to keep your communications private. Add to that, by default, Proton Mail doesn't even track your IP addresses. Next up, we all need a good office app for our PC, right? Now, if you have bought a new laptop in the recent times, there is a possibility that your OEM might have given you a license key for Microsoft Office. but if not, and the majority of those guys who do not have a licensed copy of Microsoft Office, how about checking out a free alternative such as LibreOffice. LibreOffice is an office suit that closely resembles Microsoft's offerings. Now, unlike most office suits out there that only offer three alternative software, LibreOffice has Writer, Calci, Impress, Draw, Base, Math, and Charts. It feels like a premium alternative to Microsoft Office, except that this is free and open source. And it comes with a full flash file compatibility, so switching from Microsoft to Libre will be easy for most users. That being said, if you want a whole new UI design, you might want to take a look at our other video talk about some of the best free alternatives to Microsoft Office. Now moving along, we all need a good and powerful photo editor. Now regardless of whether you're a noob or an advanced user, Paint.net should suffice all your photo editing needs. It offers a tabbed interface, allowing you to work with multiple projects at once and offers all the tools available in premium editors like Photoshop. The interface, while being slightly outdated, is quite easy to use and pretty easy to adapt to. What's more is that you can even install additional packs to it to enhance its feature set. Now, when it comes to installing a good media player on your PC, VLC has been my go-to recommendation for ages. That said, I recently switched to 5K Player and I haven't really looked back because it's really, really good. 5K Player can do everything that VLC can and then some. You get support for all the various media formats and what's more is that you can also stream and download videos from online portals inside the app. It supports wireless streaming of audio video via AirPlay and DLNA with zero quality loss and even allows you to play radio thanks to its built-in radio player. Now, it goes without saying that Microsoft Defender as good as it is, isn't really up to the mark. Well, if you're serious about protecting yourself, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is the way to go for. This has the best malware detection rate out there and it does so without hampering your system at all. It includes protocols for rootkits, which are particularly tricky to detect. It also provides a full report history so you can compare past scans and pop-up guidance for other different types of threats. Now, other than that, we have another video talking about the best free antivirus software for Windows, so you can check that out as well. Next up, we all need a good compression tool. My go-to recommendation has been 7-Zip and it still is because it's free, open source and still great. Like I said, 7-Zip is completely free and open source and supports all the compression formats out there. So whether it's zip, rar or tar, 7-Zip can handle it all. You can use it to create your own archives as well and the compression ratio is pretty good too. Okay, now since we're on the topic of downloading new apps, how about getting a new download manager? Now, I recently discovered MigMigi and I have to tell you, it's a damn good app. Right off the bat, the interface is the most modern and clean looking out there across all download managers. But it's not all beauty. The software does a pretty good job of fetching files from your browsers, or you can even add them manually, and the schedule feature is pretty good too. 
It offers pretty much what you would expect from a good download manager with easy to use interface and super fast speed acceleration. Now we all have multiple online accounts, right? Well, instead of remembering all the individual passwords for each and every account, how about just remembering one master password for a good password manager? Well, my recommendation for that has been 1Password. 1Password offers the latest 256-bit AES system to encrypt your data and allows you to enable multi-factor authentication to protect your vault against intruders. It generates a unique secret key for every user who signs up to the software. And every time you sign in, you need to enter this long weird string of letters and digits to unlock your vault. It sounds kinda complex, but then it becomes literally the only password that you would ever have to remember. Okay, so Control C and Control V are easily one of the most commonly used shortcuts out there that we use for our productivity needs, right? Well, what if I told you that you could enhance that level of productivity? Enter Ditto. Ditto is basically an extension to the standard Windows clipboard where it saves each time that you copy onto the clipboard and allows you to access them later as well. This includes any sort of information, be it images, text, videos, basically any custom format. The best thing about Ditto is that you can configure how many clips can Ditto store and when the entries will expire. What's more is that you can create groups and manage clipped items accordingly. Alright, now if you're someone who's coming from macOS, you know that Spotlight is one of the most greatest features that Apple's introduced. I mean, even if you haven't used macOS, you've probably seen it on your friend or someone using Spotlight. Now, wouldn't you like to have that feature on your Windows PC? Thankfully, there's Launchy for that. Using Launchy is simple, install it and configure the directories you would want it to search. Once it has finished indexing, you can launch the search panel anywhere by just tapping Alt plus space. Now you can search anything, be it apps, images, videos, or just about any other files. If it's in the directory you indexed, Launchy will show it. Now before we wrap things up, here's a bonus feature for you. Considering that we started this video talking about how Microsoft brings about new features to Windows, it goes without saying that I have to talk about PowerToys. PowerToys is basically Microsoft's own collection of experimental features that are already quite stable to be honest, that generally add a ton of functionality to the system. It has system-wide color picker, a quick use image resizer, a better file explorer and much more. We already have a detailed video talking about everything that PowerToys offers, so make sure to check it out from the link here. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down there in the description box. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Ram from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.